Sony expects 2023 to be a record-breaking year for PlayStation. <clears throat> so I'm going to preface this with... Um, the fact that on Friday, before I hit my, my holiday break, you know, I was off for the past three days. And I just talked about this, I know. But now that we're actually dealing with... Uh, diving into this article specifically um <clears throat> friday we, we came across an article that was talking about how uh it looked like sony was laying off an amount of employees under insomniac and it, it, as i said when i addressed that article if insomniac isn't safe nobody's safe under sony and in this year that we've been dealing with it's been so terribly brutal for um, so many people, uh, you know, developers and 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 workers in the, the gaming industry, you know, it's um, I just it, it's terrible to to jump into the news segment every single day and to to read about this stuff happening every single day, and then you get articles like this where. Sony expects 2023 to be a record-breaking year for PlayStation. You know, yo, thanks, Ferret. Cool, man. Awesome. Yeah, I just feel feel like you know it's getting close, and and uh, you know, uh, maybe throwing in another little, you know, sentiment about promoting it or whatever. If you wanted to, is, is totally worth, in my opinion. So cool, man. Awesome. Um, so as we read on Friday. Insomniac is hurting, um, and I think that it, it, if if somebody under Sony like Insomniac is dealing with Sony cutting employees, um, anybody like Insomniac or, or maybe like Santa Monica Studios, studios like that that are continuing to pump out good quality products. If any of those, if, if either of those studios are dealing with this kind of issue, I don't think anybody's safe under Sony. And um, I just, you know, the video gaming industry is, uh, it's terrible. It's been terrible to watch it all year long. All year long, we've watched every single day more and more people being laid off. Um, while this year is fiscal year obviously won't be done until the end of March, but the 2023 fiscal year is still looking to be um, more profitable than uh, the year before. We're seeing companies like Sony talk about how uh, PlayStation is going to have a record breaking year and they're firing people on the constant. I just, it doesn't add up, dude. It doesn't add up to me at all. I think that obviously, again, I think a, an amount of this can be attributed to over hire whenever the pandemic hit uh, three to four years ago, you know, the there was a lot of over hire, I think, because of um, how pumped up the video gaming industry got. There are a lot of people staying home a lot of people were uh, relying on online communities, especially in gaming, for their engagement as people were not able to go out and do things in person, physically, face-to-face, -face, things like that. But um, I think that you can't put all the blame on that. I really don't think you can. I think that um, a lot of these businesses, whether you want to talk about Epic or Embracer, or you know Microsoft or, or Sony or any of these other big companies that have just laid off a lot of, of people in the industry, I think a lot of it comes down to bad business decisions. And the thing that we are always missing is any kind of definitive information. No, um, you know, nobody wants to be, none of these companies want to be forthcoming with information about what exactly led to this situation of where they're why why they're having to let people go and it's always something that feels like it's the first thing they resort to you know well we love our company we love our employees 
and we love our games and we love our community but they really don't have an issue with axing as many people as they need to you know uh because it's just a numbers thing and nobody's uh, i don't it feels like nobody's looked at as an asset everybody's looked at as expendable even i mean even underneath sony specifically we looked at an article here recently about bungie we know bungie suffering yeah literally morale apparently is absolutely atrocious now at bungie because they've just nixed almost all of the morale building kinds of activities and things they had going on at that company and as well as somebody spoke up in a meeting and was like well what what's gone on here you know have has you know there been any consideration towards you know the upper management taking maybe no bonuses or a reduction in their you know pay a little bit to compensate for trying to keep everybody on here and keep morale going you know not let so many people go that have been such a, an integral and crucial part of what our company is and has become to this point and the reply apparently was something along the lines of pretty close to we're not that kind of company so and i think that that really what you have to understand is that i think most of these big companies in the industry are not those kinds of companies they don't look at their employees as assets they look at their employees as expendable um we never get any kind of you know clarity about what's going on there's always these default statements we read a great article in the middle of the year by mike drucker that is kind of a parody on this kind of situation um, where you just get a default statement all the time. Well, we had to fire more people, but we love them so much. And we, you know, gosh darn, this just really hurts us so much. But you don't ever get any kind of real visibility about what led to these kinds of situations. And if they did try to do anything at all to circumvent having to fire people, mass quantities of people, that got them to where they are in the first place that just always seems to be that the first thing that these companies do oh numbers aren't adding up let's fire some people you know had a boss who was like that it feels bad. yeah get record profits fire people so you don't have people yeah 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 you know um and it's just been so brutal to watch and see and like i said i mean the reason I'm elaborating on this right now is because it feels so, so bad to constantly be seeing these. It's like a, it's like a constant oxymoron. You know what I mean? It's, it's like these, 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 uh, polar opposites. We see companies continuing to just like fire and obliterate their workforce. Right. And then in the, the video gaming industry, and then you, we see articles like this all the time that are like, well, it's gonna be another record-breaking year profit-wise for us. <laughs> and it's like, what? Then why are you firing so many people? It doesn't make any sense. And again, we don't get any, you know, all, all of us that are on the outside looking in, we get nothing. They don't say anything to us. They don't tell us why it is this way. How are you doing so well fiscally and yet you're still firing off so many people? that are should be looked at as assets to your company but they're not for some reason yeah it doesn't make any sense to me it's a very very daunting very dark uh i think thing to to have to discuss every single day in our video gaming news segment and i say i feel like i have to say this all i don't have to say this all the time i say this all the time because i feel this and I'm, I'm uh, saddened by the fact that I have to say this all the time. But I mean, my heart and thoughts go out to all the people that are affected constantly by, by what's happening here. If, you know, whether, you know, obviously we're talking about people that are losing their jobs in the video gaming industry. But anybody that's dealing with job loss, it's a, it's a terrible thing. Um, it, it, for most people, it's a very um, hard thing to deal with in many many different areas of life but it takes a hard mental toll 
mental health, uh, you, you know, is, is something that is affected greatly by job loss quite often. And I just hope that anybody that's affected by job loss currently, you know, whether it be in the video gaming industry or wherever, you know, anywhere in the world that you find something um, very, very soon that is better than what you had before. It's more fulfilling. It's a more enjoyable experience. And um, hopefully it was just a blessing in disguise, you know, but um, it doesn't negate the, you know, I just, I want to express that sentiment before we move on to read what's going on here. So Sony expects 2023 to be a record breaking year for PlayStation. Sony management expects 2023 to deliver record breaking results for the PlayStation video games division, driven in part by strong PS5 sell through. Um, Sony inter uh, interactive entertainment management expects 2023 to be a record year, potentially even topping last year's 26.9 billion revenue. Um, thanks to a lucrative billion dollar digital ecosystem of games, services, and content alongside profitable consumer grade electronics that sell, sell tens of millions of units. Sony PlayStation has remained at the top of gaming's big three for years that could change now that Microsoft owns Activision Blizzard King. Even still, Sony still forecasts this year to break new records. The PS5 did just reach 50 million consoles, sold through two consumers, moving 14 million systems in a nine-month period, a new PlayStation record. In a recent interview with Reuters on the PS5 sales milestone topic, PlayStation VP of sales and marketing Eric Limple says that he's confident Sony will break some kind of record no matter where its hardware sales land. Quote, given the momentum we've had in November and a lot of what we're seeing in December, just in general, we're feeling very good about sales overall. We've done some good promotions this year. I will say we've done fewer promotions at this stage of the life cycle than we ever have in the history of the company. We're still pushing really hard, and I think we uh, will have a record-breaking year no matter where we end up. Limpool's comments lack uh, specificity. As for the time frame, uh, is he referring to 2023 as a calendar year or a fiscal year? Again, if you're not familiar... The 2023 calendar year obviously is going to run from January 1st of 2023 to December 31st, 2023. The fiscal year for the gaming industry runs from 1 April of like, so 2023's fiscal year runs from 1 April of 2023 to March 31st of 2024. And then 2024's fiscal year will start on April 1st, right? Um, let's see something real quick. Yeah. So, um, like they're stating right here, Olympus, uh comments lack specificity as for the time frame. Is he referring to 2023 as a calendar year or a fiscal year? They're not sure. Most likely the fiscal year, which is the period Sony tracks the performance of its business, which is why I referred to when I was speaking previously about this article that they were probably referring to the fiscal year because that's what makes sense when you're talking about numbers and money. The company has laid plans to ship a record-breaking 25 million PlayStation 5 consoles this fiscal year, which is more systems than it has ever moved before in PlayStation history. Sony forecasts 30 billion video game revenues for fiscal year 23, which ends in March of 2024. So, another record-breaking year for PlayStation and Sony and... Look, I mean, I'm not unrealistic about business, right? Um, I think that if you have companies underneath you that are not pulling their weight, they're not doing what they need to do. They're not making quality products. They're not living up to their part of a contract whenever they've been bought out by you. They have to understand there are consequences, potential consequences for that, whether it be layoffs, whether it be dissolving, you know, we've seen Sony do that. We've seen many other companies do that. But again, I think when, when you read a, an article like this talking about Sony expecting uh, a record breaking year for PlayStation, and then we just read about Insomniac being downsized by Sony Insomniac is one of their best development studios so it, it's it doesn't make sense it doesn't compute it doesn't calculate um, 
and we just don't we don't get any kind of you know real solid information ever in regards to why this happens when it's so conflicting it doesn't make sense it's not a good look i'll tell you that <laughs>